Hey guys, Kim Fishing Creek Outdoors here. We got our tackle warehouse unboxing. Uh, it's already opened. I had to do this video once before because my dad walked in. Uh, ooh, 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 oh! Free tackle warehouse T-shirt first of all. Uh, I don't remember the sticker is. Uh, all right. First, I'll do Mega Bass. So we have our uh, the Mega Bass Pop Max. Oh my God, that thing is sexy. I'm sorry, it's kind of the lighting is got a lot of glare. I'll take I'll take them all out. Of, I'll just take them all out now. Uh, how do you open these jars? All right. There it is. This is in the white python color. Awesome, awesome color. Next we have uh, the Mega Bass Pop X in the white python. Uh, the Pop Max is... I think it's three and a quarter inches long and a half an ounce. Yeah. And the uh, Pop X is quarter of an ounce and it should be like two and a half inches or something. There are there are millimeters on here, but, but uh there's the Pop X. I'm not gonna take that one out because you can see it better. Uh here's one that I've been really that I was really excited about it. The Mega Bass. Um, X Pod Jr. This is a really, really neat bet, bait. That the lip actually moves on it, like it has, the, it has an adjustable lip that you can um, uh, move up and down on this bait. And this one's also in the white python. That's a twenty dollar more. Um, there, what are we gonna do? Uh, we'll do Jackal. So one, two, three, four. Alright, so we have the Jackal Binsky in eight NK Green Bug. Oh, I'll take this one out. Uh, it's three seventh of an ounce and uh, two and three quarters of an inch. This bait is uh, really neat. It, it's a. Uh, it has. Uh, it it almost acts like a hard bait chatter bait almost. Uh, although that's not what it was originally designed for. Uh, but you can see it has this blade and it has the prop on it. And this blade comes back and hits the prop, like a, a clack or buzz bait does. But it's also a popper. So that's what it originally was for. No. Yeah. So there's the NK Green Bug. Really cool color. And these things are awesome. Uh, we'll do the Jackal Boil Trigger. Now this is basically, it's a prop bait. Uh, not a, it's a pop bait, but th it, it's a really good dead sticking bait. Like it, it sits in the water sideways, and it's jointed. So it has a... It really looks good in the water. It'll sit like this. It looks like it's dead in the water. Uh, good rattles on this. Very, they're they're like little shotgun babies. It sounds like, and that's in the bluegill color. Um, and that is. It's a boil trigger 100. It doesn't say. Uh, how much it weighs. Yeah. Uh, next we have, this is the bait that I was really excited about, the Jackal Pompadour. And all these are topwater baits. I just did a gigantic topwater uh, order. This is this bait's been really hard to get, and there would have been colors that I would have 
chosen before this. Oh, dude, this is awesome. But, um, this is my third choice color, and, uh, it's kind of what I went with. It's the, uh, if I can get it out of the package, it's really well packaged. That's going to make so much noise in the water. Okay, so this is in the, uh, what, bluegill color. The IS gill bone. It's like a clear bone. It doesn't look like that in the picture. It's like a ghost bone on the sides. Uh, it's a, uh, a bluegill bone. Now what happens is, is these wings, they swing out and it wobbles side to side. And it has the little prop back going. It also has a, a, a movable... A rotating hook so the bass doesn't have leverage to throw that hook and uh, that's very important on a bait like this where he's most likely going to grab the back hook and you don't want him to have any leverage to throw that hook so that's a jackal pompadour <laughs> in the is gill bone got one more jackal bait and then we move into lucky craft uh this this is the uh jackal jockey 120 it, it's like a jerk bait top water bait kind of mix it it it's really a fast floater this thing you you basically jerk it down like a jerk bait but when you pause it and this thing goes straight up to the surface and literally pops out of the water a little bit so it looks like a fleeing bait fish and that's just in the bluegill color uh this is four Uh, it's the 120, uh, 17, three quart, uh, 17, uh, 30 second ounce and 3.2 inches. There's that, the jockey 120. Uh, now we got a bunch of Lucky Craft baits. Uh, so let's do the, uh, Lucky Craft T-Splash. This is a, uh, this popper has a lot going on with it, just like the, uh, the Binsky. It has, uh, tons going on with it. Wow, that's weird. I've never seen that. One of those little plastic things on a bait. Oh, uh, where's my knife? That's the first... Alright, uh, so this is the T-Splash in MS Black. And you can see it has two feathered tails, a prop, and it's basically just a popper bait. That's going to be really good for smallmouth. It's got a lot going on, and it's almost like a finesse type bait because it has all the, uh, the feathered tail on it. Uh, next we have the Lucky Craft Kelly J in Sunfish. This is a Tackle Warehouse exclusive color. Uh, this is two and three quarters of an inch and half an ounce. Uh, now we got some uh, Sammies and Gunfish. So here's the Lucky Craft Gunfish in uh, 95 in MS Black. Uh, here's the Lucky Craft 115 in Ghost Minnow. Uh, the 115 is 3 fifths of an ounce and 4 and a half inches. The 95 is 4 inches and 3 eighths of an ounce. Uh, we have a Lucky Craft Sammy 105 in MS Black, 4 and a quarter inches and 9 sixteenths of an ounce. That color is killer. Uh, we have a 100 in 4 inches, 1 and a half, one and a half ounce. And we have a 115 in MS Black, um, 4 and a half inches and 5 eighths of an ounce. Um, so then we have two Plano um, Hydroflow 3700 size series boxes. And when you're spending $15, $20 on Japanese lures, you kind of don't want them to get ruined. And dry off really quickly. So these have little holes in it and they prevent rust. They let air circulation go through it. 
Um, so, you know, your Gamagatsu and VMC hooks on these baits don't rust. So there's that. Um, and they actually didn't send me a free Tackle Warehouse sticker, so I'm surprised about that. I put one in my cart, but uh, it doesn't look like they sent one. Yeah, this order totaled out to $266. Uh, that was with a $10 one-day shipping fee. So, anyways, uh, keeping Fishing Creek outdoors here. There will be another kind of video up to kind of review everything. and re Yeah. So, you'll see these baits again in more depth. So, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Big Tack Warehouse order.